Alright, so this is a test to um, see how the blue microphone compares audio-wise to the other microphones that I have in my studio here. Um, one of the main problems I already encountered was that it wasn't really easy for me to use the blue microphone along with my current Cubase uh, SX setup. I have Cubase 5, I should say, and I have a FirePod. Apparently Cubase likes to only see one kind of uh, audio driver or one kind of audio system and so in order to get the blue microphone even working I had to switch the ASIO um, driver to the blue microphones driver and so now I really can't use the rest of my Cubase rig. Um, nevertheless this is what the blue microphone sounds like. I'm about five inches away from it so I'm pretty close there is some decent ambient noise from my computer uh, going on in this room so bear in mind that and uh, let's see what the other mics sound like I figure a pretty good test would be the SM58 um, this is the SM58 now this is a microphone that I've actually had for quite a long time now so it may it may be worked in a little bit but I think it still works pretty well um, I'm running uh, this microphone through the 58 through the FirePod, um, or I think they call them FP10s now, and it's running with the Mogami uh, XLR cable straight into the first input and being recorded into Cubase 5 on Windows Vista for any techies out there. So hopefully this is a good representation of the SM58. Let me um, now go to one of my other microphones. All right, so now this is the Shure KSM27 condenser microphone. Um, I've got a little pop filter in front of my face so that hopefully there's not a lot of plosives. Um, and I'm just a few inches away from it. Um, I did notice that this microphone was acting kind of acting kind of funny. Like uh, there was almost like a little subtle buzzing sound to it. And so I am not sure if this one is functioning as best as it should. Um, but you might notice a difference between the Shure KSM27 from the SM58 and probably from the blue microphone. Um, all right, let me now plug in my other microphone. All right, so this microphone is the Rode NTK microphone. Um, this one had to warm up actually for about 10 minutes because I believe it's a tube microphone. It comes with a big hunk and power supply and kind of a special XLR looking cable that hooks up to the power supply um, from the microphone to the power supply. If you ruin that cable then you're probably out of luck. Um, this one I use m mainly for like female vocals or anything kind of delicate because it seems to pick up things uh, a little bit. It's probably my best microphone basically. I'm noticing the gain might be a little bit hotter on this microphone than the others so I'll try and adjust that in the end mix so that it doesn't blur your vision. Um, let's see here. So yeah, Rode NTK microphone. I've got there, uh, there's a pop filter between me and the mic and I'm about like four or five inches away from the mic again. I'm trying to use the exact same location for each of these tests and I'm trying to face pretty much the same way. Um, all right. 